Hello everybody, it is Nat from Studio Hacks here, and today I'm going to show you how you can export an MP3 file from GarageBand for iOS, which is for the iPhone and the iPad. And if you want the short answer, there is actually no way to directly export an MP3 file format uh, out of the app. However, you can export a M4A, which is Apple's version of an MP3, a compressed file format. It's known as a lossy format, which means that you will lose a little bit of audio quality, but the file size will be much smaller. You can also export uncompressed audio as a WAV or some other formats, which I'll show you. So this is the screen that's opened up. It's the last project that I had open on GarageBand. And for us to export this as an MP3, I'm going to click on the downward facing arrow on the top left corner right here. And I'm going to select where my songs are being stored. And it will show me there uh, the songs that I have on this particular iPhone. Now, what we want to do is you can see down the bottom, there's recent and browse. You can only uh, do this from the browse. So I'm going to select browse there. And then on the top right hand corner, I'm going to hit select. And that is going to allow me to select the song which I'm going to export. So I'm just going to grab this little beat idea here by clicking on it. And then you'll see there are five icons that have appeared down the bottom. We want the one on the furthermost left bottom side. So let's click on this upward arrow here. And now we have the option to export our song as a project and send it to somebody um, so we can collaborate or you can you can export this so you can use it on the GarageBand uh, for Mac or open it in Logic Pro X. We can also uh, export our song as a ringtone to use on our phone and I'll cover that in, a, in another video. What we're doing today is selecting song. So tap to send your song as a stereo audio file. So let's see what options that will now give us. So these uh, low, medium, high and highest quality are all lossy compressed formats, very similar to an MP3. This will create an M4A file. I would highly recommend only using highest quality or high quality. Um, you really don't want to be using medium or low quality. I don't know why they've even allowed you to have those options. Most of us are on broadband or high speed internet these days, and you will really hear a, a huge degradation, a degradation rather of quality with the medium and low will be almost unlistenable. So I always select highest quality because your uh, two or three minute songs only going to be three or four megabytes. We also have the option to select Apple lossless at 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit or uncompressed AIFF and uncompressed WAV. Now we can change these uh, settings so we can get a higher quality audio. We can get 48 kilohertz and 24 bit. I'll be covering that in another video, um, but this is what we call Redbook audio CD quality, very high quality audio. That's the Apple lossless or the AIFF or WAV file there. Um, and then down here we can, uh, we have some metadata that we can add and you'll notice that we, and, and also an image, you'll notice that it's grayed out at the moment because you can only add metadata to the compressed file formats, not the uncompressed. So I'm going to select this highest quality. And now you'll see I can uh, select the artist, the composer and the album. These are like meta tags and you'll see them in iTunes or um, if you have a tag editor and you can also choose a cover image. Uh, from the photos on your phone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and export at the highest quality. And then uh, to do that, all I do is hit share on the top right hand corner. And then it's going to give me a list of options. So I can message that to some recent um, friends or contacts that I've been messaging. Um, and then it also gives me the option to do airdrop if somebody's nearby or to a, another uh, Macintosh device such as a Mac laptop or iMac. Uh, you can message this file to someone and these the options that appear here will depend on what apps you actually have on your iPhone because I use Gmail on my iPhone, uh, Facebook Messenger and Dropbox they've appeared. Um, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of options here. I would really only uh, ever use AirDrop, message it to someone possibly 
or use Gmail. Um, so I'm going to select the Gmail option um, and then, oh, I can also save to files. Sorry, that's the one thing I missed. So you can save it to the files app on your, on your iPhone for later use uh, to send to somebody. So um, I'm going to select the Gmail option and I'm gonna just email this file to myself. This is gonna bring up the Gmail app on my phone and then uh, I'm going to stop the recording now and join you back on the screen of my Mac, of my iMac. Okay, we're now looking at the desktop of my iMac and I have received the email that I've sent to myself from my iPhone and it has the M4A file attached. I'm going to download that to the desktop. So here is uh, the file that we exported from GarageBand and if I want to create an MP3 from this file, I can do so uh, in iTunes or with a third party audio converter. I have a audio converter called Pro Audio Converter that I use, it's fantastic. And uh, I can convert that to an MP3 uh, or any other uh, format from a large list of formats. And then when I hit encode, it's simply going to re-encode that file as an MP3 file. There it is, there's my MP3. And one final thing, um, I'm going to very quickly show you how you can use iTunes uh, to turn this M4A into an MP3 file uh, if you're interested. Now I am on uh, the latest iOS, which is Catalina, and I do believe it, uh, iTunes is now just called Music. Uh, it's the same icon. So I'm just going to uh, fire up iTunes and uh, I'm going to drag the M4A in. But before I do that, I need to go to file, uh, sorry, the music and preferences and under the files menu and the import settings, uh, normally this is on uh, the ACC encoder. I need this to be MP3 encoder and I'm going to select highest quality. I will create a separate video uh, going into more depth uh, on this particular um, technique of converting to mp3. I'm just going to show you very quickly now that it can be done. When I drag this in, uh, let's just go to songs. I'm just going to drag this into my songs. It should now be under recently added. I'm going to click once on that, select the song here, and then under file, I can select convert, create mp3 version. So it's just automatically started playing there. And now this is the MP3 version. I should be able to reveal that in the finder and it will show me, there we go. So this is the M4A originally that I um, brought in and now here's the MP3 version. So um, I will do a more in-depth video on that. And when it is finished, I will pop the link in the description. Um, and also just be careful when you're exporting uncompressed formats the file sizes can be quite large uh, from GarageBand. If your song is four or five minutes long uh, and you select the uncompressed WAV version, you could end up with a file over 100 megabytes, uh, which will not be allowed uh, under the Google, um, the Gmail conventions. It won't let you email that. So just bear that in mind. I hope you have enjoyed this content and I will see you in the next video.